My name is Fahad Ahmed. I'm pleased to be speaking with you today in my capacity as a board member of Thousand Currents, a public foundation based in the US that funds grassroots movements and organizations led by women, indigenous people and youth in the areas of climate justice, food sovereignty and alternative economies to tackle our shared global challenges. What sets Thousand Currents model apart from the vast majority of organizations in the international development space is a partnership model that rests on the premise of community self-determination and community solidarity and a commitment to mutual accountability. These principles have informed Thousand Currents funding approach, which is one that provides long-term unrestricted and flexible funding to its grassroots partners. Based on guidance from grassroots partners, TC has also developed a stream of programming that seeks to influence donors and transform philanthropy so that donors can see the value of community self-determination and long-term unrestricted funding commitments. The Thousand Currents approach is about shifting power and building power mm -hmm. to make philanthropy more just and equitable. Thousand Currents recognizes that systemic social change is non-linear, often unpredictable and requires long-term commitment. We use the example of one of our grassroots partners, Afedis, a movement of indigenous women in Guatemala with whom Thousand Currents has been in relationship with since 2005. Afedis has evolved its priorities from micro-industries for women to tackling familial issues within their communities to leading a national movement to protect the intellectual property rights of Mayan textile design. The Thousand Currents partnership model has allowed it to be prepared for an unpredictable crisis such as the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, the nimble, flexible, unrestricted funding approach has allowed our grassroots partners to adapt the funds to their needs at this pivotal moment. We don't know what life after the pandemic may be, but Thousand Currents model prepares it to deal with an unpredictable post-pandemic future. I leave you now with some additional reflection by Thousand Currents Executive Director, Salome Lemma. In moments like this, when there's complexity and uncertainty and rising challenges, um, we generally tend to shrink because of fears and because of insecurities. And that can happen in philanthropy. And we're seeing some of that right now. We're probably going to focus on doing donor education and advocacy activities around really inviting us into abundance, into expanding and not contracting over the coming few years and into meeting the moment with the type of courage, um, bravery and resiliency that movements are exhibiting.